Hello everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. We are going to be making a Christmas bay window card and it's a fun fold and it also lays flat. Look, so this is what it looks like when it's popped up and then it opens up and then also folds flat. Don't you love that? Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the Christmas bay window card. Isn't it adorable? So we're using the Blushing Bride today, but this is the card that I got from Sharon. She's on my team and she did this for her swap. Isn't that adorable? And look how cute it sets up. So cute. So now she used the Peaceful Deer Bundle with the Tidings of Christmas designer paper and the Soft Succulent. So cute. And then this is how it opens up. So then it also lays flat, which is awesome for mailing, right? So I know this card looks a little complicated, but it's so super easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this one today. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, don't forget to click the link down below in the description box. Or if you're on my website, there's a link also there. This will give you the PDF for today's card and it gives you the products we're using well at least some of them and then also the measurements and the score lines and then also a cute little picture of the one we're making today okay so that link is listed down below so let me show you what we're going to use today for our card so we're using the blushing bride this piece is cut at four and a quarter by eleven you're going to need two pieces of basic white this piece is cut at three and a quarter by four and this little tiny piece is cut at one and a quarter by one and a half and then another piece of Blushing Bride, which is cut at one and three eighths by one and five eighths. That's gonna be for this piece here. And then a piece of the Whimsy and Wonder designer paper. Isn't that pretty? This piece is cut at four and one eighth by six. And we're gonna cut that in strips that's gonna form our little bay window. Pretty decorative pop out there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. All right, so we're going to score the Blushing Bride cardstock piece first. So this is the four and a quarter by 11. So along the 11 inch side, we're going to score it at three eighths. And the three eighths is the medium mark right between the quarter and the half. So we're going to score that three eighths. Then we're going to slide it down to one and seven eighths. That's the medium mark right before the two three and five eighths. The five eighths is between the three fourths and the half, the little medium mark. And then five and one eighth, that's the medium mark past the five. And then we're gonna score it in half at five and a half. All right, now we're gonna grab our designer paper. Remember, this is the four and one eighth by six. And along the six inch side, we're gonna cut now I'm cutting this so it lays on the card in the direction of the designer paper. So you can see here, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter with this particular designer paper, but if you're using like the dogs or anything that um, lines up, like when you cut it and you want those edges to somewhat line up, you want to cut it in the, the way that we're going to cut it today. All right. So along the six inch side, we're going to cut our first cut is at one and three eighths. Remember, that's the eighth mark right between the quarter and the half. So one and three eighths. One and five eighths. That's the eighth mark between the half and the three fourths. And then one and three eighths again. And then you should have an, a big enough piece at the end to cut at one and five eighths. So one and five eighths. So you're just gonna remove a little smidge, just like that, okay? All right, so those are the pieces in the order that we cut them. So if you didn't have directional paper and it didn't matter to you if you put them on the right way, then you're just gonna cut two pieces at one and three eighths and then two pieces cut at one and five eighths, okay? So this is the way I'm going to put my paper onto my card. So we're going to go ahead and fold our score lines. So this part right here is going to form the bay window, like the pop out part of the card. So we're going to be putting our designer paper on these three sections right here. This is your 3 8 of an inch edge right here. So we're going to put some tear and tape. I got mine right here. 
we're just going to go ahead and put that on the inside part of that tiny strip and then we're just going to seal that section down to the base of the card so it's going to fold that over just like that okay we're going to grab our liquid glue I'm going to be using the multi-purpose liquid glue and we're going to adhere our designer paper to our section. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so there's my three sections. Now this final piece right here is going to be put on the inside section over here right on this edge right here okay so let me go ahead and add that so now we're going to do some stamping we're going to grab our little tiny piece of our basic white and then also the three and a quarter by four and we're using the two stamp sets, the Christmas to Remember. This is going to be for the inside. Friends like you make the season special. And then also I'm using the Peaceful Deer, just like Sharon did. And I'm using Sending Love and Peace this season, and it's super tiny. So it's going to fit perfectly on this little tiny square. So we're also using the Blushing Bride Classic Ink. We're just going to go ahead and stamp these two greetings. So I'm going to stamp this in the middle here. And then this grading is going to go right on this tiny small one. And this one's a photopolymer stamp set, which is nice. You can line it up perfectly. That stamps right there. Sending love and peace this season. All right, and then we're going to adhere that little tiny piece to this blushing bride with the liquid glue. And then we're going to put this basic white on the inside of the card. It's going to go right in here, just like that. Isn't it beautiful? Now, you could emboss this with the silver embossing powder to make the silver from the designer paper pop out. So either way is really cute. All right, so now the easy way to have your bay window pop out is to use a dimensional. So I have the full-size dimensionals and then also the mini Stampin' dimensionals. So we, we're just going to take one little mini dimensional and we're going to set up our card the way you want it to stop. So this little tiny fold line right here is going to be the fold part that's going to tuck under this greeting to make a little stopper. So we want to fold this up and I want it to really fold up right into that other piece of that designer paper right about there so then of course you can set it up to get that really nice fold to pop out really cute right there in that top so I'm just going to line that up and I'm going to put my stopping my little mini dimensional which is I'm calling a stopper I'm going to put that right up along that edge of that little small score line right there okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off and then that's gonna make the stopper which is what it's doing but this is gonna go on top of here I'm gonna put one dimensional on top and bottom on the opposite end of the stopper part so then I'm gonna take my little greeting here and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna line this edge up over here to the edge of the card and then I'm going to put that down onto that little mini dimensional. So then you can see how this is going to slide up underneath that greeting and it's going to make a little stopper right there. So when it sets up, it's going to sit up so cute. All right, then we're going to decorate it with some wonderful snowflakes. And these are what those look like. These are like shimmery, but not like glittery. They're more like iridescent. They're so beautiful. So you can see that hopefully that's the camera's picking that up. So you have one like shimmery side that's the iridescent side and then more of a flat side. So we're just going to put this up on a mini dimensional. Pop that up. And we're going to pop this snowflake right up in the center of that center bay window section. 
just kind of eyeballing it right across from the greeting here. And then one final thing, I'm going to go ahead and add some basic rhinestones. I'm going to add a large rhinestone to the center of my snowflake. And then I'm going to take these little mini rhinestones, the smallest one, and I'm just going to add them to the snowflakes that I actually see, like the full snowflake. And I'm going to add it to the center of the snowflakes. Just to add a little bling to the Christmas card. I think there's one right down here I can add too. And then don't forget the inside panel over here. So there's a couple snowflakes over here. We can add them. So it says, sending love and peace this season. Friends like you make the season special. And then, and then when they put this on the edge of the card, it makes a really cute bay window shape. You know, like a bay window on the house. That's the illusion of this Christmas card. Isn't it adorable? I absolutely love it. And I love your card, Sharon. Okay, so here's the other one. Let me show you this one again. So you just pop it up. Just like that. Isn't that cute? And then let me show you Sharon's again. We just stamped the Sending Love and Peace this season from the same stamp set that Sharon used from the Peaceful Deer. But she used a different greeting. And then she also used the deer for hers. And then she made like a little um, like a little snow bank here. Isn't that pretty? And then remember the card folds flat too for mailing, just like this one here. So adorable. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. And if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.